Hi everybody, this is Fox Nomad, and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you how to unlock unlimited Wi-Fi at airports that have time restrictions on free Wi-Fi connections. So let me just put this disclaimer out first. This may or may not be legal depending on where you're doing this and the laws. So take this as a thought experiment, just sort of a how to what you do with it from here. Check the laws, make sure you're doing everything legal, but it's a really simple trick, simple hack that you can use that will allow you to unlock. Let's say you go to an airport and they give you 30 minutes of free Wi-Fi, Germany, and then they cut you off after 30 minutes. But if you've got a long layover, then that might be an issue. But what you can do is there's a couple of easy tricks you can do to unlock that 30 minute or whatever time limit to make it unlimited. So you have free Wi-Fi throughout your entire layover. So essentially when you get to an airport, the way that the Wi-Fi works in this sort of basic level is there's only a couple of ways that they can identify your machine in order to enact a time restriction. Basically, they have to know what machine is connecting to the network in order to give it a time restriction. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to track anybody. So there's a couple of ways that they do this. And the first one is a cookie. And the way a cookie works is essentially when you log into that free Wi-Fi network and you hit that OK button in the browser, that browser is going to leave a cookie on your machine, which is essentially a small file with a little code that the network can use to identify your machine. So essentially when you're in your browser, the network is going to look for that cookie code. And then based on that, it's going to assign the time limit and countdown based on that. Now the way to get around cookie restrictions is pretty simple. Now basically after your 30 minutes is over, what you need to do is just open a private window in your browser and then you should get another 30 minutes, for example. So in other words, you can keep doing this for pretty limitless if the network is set up based on purely cookies. And this trick works pretty much in hotels and airports. So all you have to do is open a private browsing window and every time the time restriction comes up, just open a new window and you should be good to go for another 30 minutes or whatever the time limit is. Now the second way they can track you is by using your IP address, which is the local IP address on the network. And that one is pretty simple to get around as well. You can pretty much just turn off your Wi-Fi, refresh all of your settings. And when you do that, it's going to generate a new IP address for you on the network. And because of the setup of this, a lot of networks don't use this method. So what I would suggest is start with the cookie trick. So start with the private window, open a new private window and try to see if it will unlock an extra couple of minutes or extra time period for you. And if that doesn't work, then what you should do is turn off your Wi-Fi go into your network settings, refresh all of your network settings, see if that works and it gives you another extra 30 minutes or whatever the time limit happens to be. Now the third way, which is pretty much the most common way that airports use to track your machine and set a time limit for you is by using the MAC address. And essentially what a MAC address is, is it's a unique code that's placed on network devices. So your Wi-Fi card has a MAC address, the Wi-Fi card in your phone has a MAC address, so on and so on. So what these MAC addresses do is they identify that network hardware. Now you can't actually physically change your network MAC address, but there is a quick and easy way to spoof it, which is essentially changing the MAC address using software without actually changing the actual MAC address of your network device. So I'm going to show you how to do this on a Mac. It's a relatively simple and quick hack. It should only take a minute. So the first step is to do this when you do have a network connection. So when you're at home, you want to download this program called Link it's free but obviously you need an internet connection to get it so make sure you set this all up when you get at home after that you don't need an internet connection and the second thing you're going to want to keep in mind is when you're setting this up is to sign out of all VPNs if you're using a VPN all right so now that that's out of the way you've downloaded link liar so you've installed link liar and you're gonna open link liar and so when you set up link liar on a Mac you're gonna have this little icon up here click on that and this is going to be right here, what's blurred out, at least on this video, is my actual MAC address. And that's going to be your actual MAC address. What you can do is you just hover over it and you have a couple of choices. You can do do nothing, you can do random, define manually or keep original. You want the random one. So if you click random on this and then you open up your private browsing window, when your time is run out at an airport, what you're going to do is 
click random, open up a new private browsing window. When you do that, if you open up Link Liar again, you're gonna see that the MAC address here has changed. Now that the MAC address has changed, you should be able to log back into the Wi-Fi network and get another 30 minutes or whatever the time restriction happens to be. Like I said, it's a relatively simple hack. It's really easy to do. Just make sure when you get back to your home or hotel or wherever and you don't need this trick anymore to go back to reset to original, that will set it back to your original MAC address and then you can quit Link Liar and then you shouldn't have any issues going on from there. The reason I mention that is because if you do leave it on the false MAC address, you might have some issues on your home network or work network or other networks that you're using. And if you're using a VPN, it's gonna confuse that at first, at least as well. It's better to go with your original MAC address when you can. So I hope this hack helps you get through some Wi-Fi networks that have time restrictions. That's pretty common in a lot of Europe, but if it's not enough and you end up in an airport that actually requires you to pay for Wi-Fi, just be sure to check out this which is Wifox, which is an app I made that gives you all the passwords to airports around the world. You can download that on iOS or Android if you want to check it out. And just another thing about free Wi-Fi is a lot of times when you use free Wi-Fi, you have to log in using your Facebook credentials or some other credential, or just in general, there are some major privacy concerns there. So, so obviously when you're using free Wi-Fi, be sure to browse carefully. So there you have it. If you have any questions about this hack, let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. And a MAC address is essentially a code that's put on every hardware device. Every, and essentially what a MAC address is, it's a look.